um, we have a new week and we have new root words for you for Mrs Hewitt's Spelling at Home Key Stage 2 Word Study Session. So um, the first root that we're going to do today um, is actually one that can mean other things in other contexts, but we're just going to focus on one meaning of it today. OK, so it is this, which is sent. Um, this is from the Latin centum, which means 100. OK, and you might think about um, a cent being like in American dollars, um, you have a cent um, and there's obviously a hundred of them um, and that's where that comes from, okay? So um, cent meaning a hundred and all the words that I've got on our morphine frame today relate in some way to a hundred and this is a good thing to remember, um, especially in um, subjects like history, um, you might come up with words that have got sent in the middle and you might think, oh, OK, I can probably figure out what that means. It must be something to do with 100. So I'm going to pop the morphine frame up to the screen and then you can pause the video, see how many words you can build. Once you've built them, before I show you the word sums and we have a chat about it, see if maybe you can figure out what they mean or what they might mean um, using your knowledge of the different morphemes of the prefixes and suffixes and things like that. OK, see if you can kind of predict what I'm going to say now, because you should be really good at this now. So um, get ready to pause the video, OK? OK, let's see how you did. So the one that I'm hoping you probably got uh, quite quickly is this one with percent. OK, um, because we use that in maths. And when I teach maths, I always talk about it being percent, being out of 100. OK, per meaning for every. Um, so for every 100, that's why we talk in percentages. The most percent is always 100 percent is your whole amount. OK, and then the number, um, this, the percent is how many out of that 100. So percent is literally for every 100 for out of 100. OK, we also have um, century. OK, so a century is 100 years. And then we have here a centurion. OK, so you can see here when I've dropped this, when we've added the ian, um, remember, this really, really normally relates to a person, so like an electrician, a magician, they all have that I-A-N, the in at the end, meaning a person. So a centurion is somebody who is 100 years old, OK? So um, centurion, or even, you sometimes have it like in cricket if they get 100 runs, but or 100, they've played 100 matches or things like that, but it's always related to doing something for, you know, 100 times. So centurion, but you can see I've dropped this Y, because we'd end up with a century ian, and we sort of got two letters making that same e sound. So um, the y gets dropped for the ian ending. So centurion. I've got percent and percentage there, percentages. So again, just talked about that in terms of meaning for every 100. Um, we've got centimetres. This i doesn't have any meaning, OK? So um, it's more like just to merge those um, two morphemes together. It's called a zero phone because it's a phone because it has a sound, but zero because it has no meaning. OK, so that's in there. That's more just for ease of speech. So we've got cent e meter. We've got centigram, centiliter, centimeter. OK, and then we'll talk about centipede in a minute, but centimeter um, because it is a hundredth of a meter. You split a one meter into a hundred. Each of them is a centimeter. OK, a hundred centimeters in a meter, hundred centigrams. Um, so in yeah in a gram, um, but you can split anything that's split up there. Um, centiliters, hundred centiliters in litre. Okay, so we have got those uh, measurementy type ones there. Um, we've got a centenary there. That's um, like an anniversary type thing of a hundred years. So it's the centenary of an main event of an event that's happened. Okay, but again a hundred years. And oh, I've sent back to century there, but I've forgotten that to put that on the top. So century, if you have centuries, um, it's that plural rule. So drop the Y, change it to an I E S for the plural. I want to go back to here because I forgot this one. Centipede, pede relating to feet. Okay, so toes and feet. So centipede means 100 feet. Centipedes don't actually have 100 feet, but um, that's obviously originally where it comes from is something to do with legs and um, legs and feet and things like that, okay? So it's to do with them having lots and lots of legs. 
So all of those today is our scent, that means a hundred, okay? Tomorrow, we're going to look at scent, meaning a different um, a different word, basically. So we've got other words that have scent in, they don't mean a hundred. So scent isn't always a hundred, because uh, it comes from different roots in the Latin, okay? But that one is where it means a hundred. So I hope you've got lots and lots of words. Um, you need to go and try and write a sentence or two with some of those words in, maybe a century or centenary or centurion. Um, uh, try and get your spellings right and don't forget your rules and I will see you back here tomorrow for some another look at scent okay bye